So take everything that you know about wedding dresses and forget it. Brides are rewriting the rules this year. Not every woman walking down the aisle will be in a sleeveless or strapless white gown. ABC's Paula Ferris shows us the latest in extreme bridal. Anthony. Ask any bride, fictional or real, and she'll tell you. What do you think? Almost as important as finding the perfect man is unveiling the perfect dress to wear on the big day. This year, there are a dizzy number of options available to women headed down the aisle. Fashion insiders I spoke with are calling 2012 a watershed year, arguing there are more jaw-dropping looks out there now than the bridal industry has seen in years. We're seeing weddings being a reflection of the bride's personal style, and she wants her wedding right down to her wedding dress to reflect her personal style. Bridal trend number one, sleeves. Remember those days when it seemed like everyone was getting married in strapless or sleeveless dresses? Well, many brides still are, but behold the return of the sleeve. You can blame the trend almost entirely on Kate Middleton. She's had a tremendous effect. Ever since we've seen an interest in the sleeves, momentum has actually picked up, and now we're getting in so many requests. The Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen confection Kate wore has been showing up in various incarnations on the bridal runway. Bridal trend number two, the slit. Just because sleeves are in, doesn't mean that the desire to look sexy on the big day is out. We're seeing a very sexy trend where the bride really wants to show some skin, and we're seeing this in high slits. And get this, the slits are even making appearances in ball gowns. Definitely for a fun bride, absolutely. Not only is it just fun in general in the design, but also too, if the bride wants to do a really fun shoe, you really get a chance to see it despite wearing the ball gown. Bridal trend number three, unusual headpieces. Kim Kardashian's marriage may have only lasted 72 days, but fashion experts say her choice of a jeweled headpiece has made a lasting dent in the bridal industry. During our visit to New York's famous bridal emporium Kleinfeld, we found brides going gaga over the retro headpieces. Also making headgear waves, fascinators, and 1970s style headscarves. Head wraps are definitely in. There's something really kind of gypsy and beautiful about them. Bridal trend number four, pants. You heard us right, pants and pants suits are increasingly popular for the modern bride. Molly Guy of hip new Manhattan boutique Stone Fox Bride says pantsuits are an ideal option for what she calls the downtown bride. If a bride wants to do something totally opposite of the conventional wedding gown, this would be a good option. And finally, bridal trend number five, color. This year, expect to see more solid colored dresses in pinks, in blues, even in reds. And for the sophisticated bride looking to have a runway moment when she walks down the aisle, look no further than the most recent Vera Wang collection, which features a series of black wedding gowns. Why would you want to stray away from the traditional off-white or even the blush? I think brides want to be themselves these days. They're very confident, they're less traditional, they want to make a statement. So now we take a closer look at some of those hot trends. Joining us is Randy Finoli, host of TLC's Say Yes to the Dress, and you're saying yes to these trends. <laughs> well, not for every bride. These are kind of the extreme look. Um, this is really um, more of an expression of what that bride wants to say. There are a lot of options out there for them, which is really it's great. Really fun. Let's take our yeah. first look. This is an example of how sleeves are back in a big way. Thank yes. you, Kate Middleton. Yes. You know, um, this is Elizabeth Fillmore, and the thing about sleeves sleeves where it's kind of a trend because with a fitted sleeve you really can't raise your arm. So this is a great option because it has this removable jacket and it um, dips down to a point in the back which is really pretty. It's a Venice lace um, and gorgeous. By, really uh, cute yeah. how you can have the sleeves and then have your cake and eat it too exactly. so to speak. Exactly. Take it off. Take that off yes. and get down. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much. And everybody Our next that. look yeah. is the slit. Yes. I'm not so sure how I feel about the slit on the wedding day. I don't mind a little bit of leg. It's definitely a look for that very sophisticated more of a smaller intimate wedding probably one that you know may not include your grandmother mm -hmm. that's going to gasp or your aunt or whatever or you're an older bride who's a little more, more mature more mm -hmm. mature yeah knows we don't who say she older. is <laughs> yeah more sophisticated I like to call myself so um, this, this is um, Douglas Hannett we've got great shoes we've got accessories by Thomas Knoll um, beautiful silk charmeuse it's a really pretty dress yeah I'm yeah. looking for an Oscar dress I'm, I'm well, looking this, at this. this you could do this you could do it for an Oscar dress absolutely that's really great thank you so much yeah.
Our Beautiful. next look is very bold. I love the bohemian look. Very. I've never seen it on a wedding day. I think it's yeah. kind of fun. You know what? Once again, this is a very specific look for that bride that wants to step out of the box and really um, talk about her own personality. This is kind of very Ally McGraw. Um, it's by Electric Feathers and some killer um, shoes. Shoes are a great trend right now because I would rather you spend $600 on a great pair of shoes that you'll wear forever. Say what? That, okay. Yes. Then a pair of $60 shoes that are, you're going to throw away after the wedding. Are you going to regret doing this down the road when you're showing you know, your pictures to your kids? This is a very specific look and you really have to be bold and confident to wear this. So I'm, I, this is probably not going to be like one in a million. I applaud so individuality and we thank you. I mean, I say go for it. I just want you to think about the long-term ramifications. I agree. I agree. And finally, speaking of long-term yes. ramifications, <laughs> isn't it bad luck to wear black? You know, I, I've i only seen a few wear it. It's really more for your gothic bride. And here's the reality is that if designers are going to start d designing black wedding dresses, then they're going to be out of a job because then it's going to be called evening wear, right? Yeah. But for that gothic bride or that bride that wants to step out of the out of the box or rock second and roll. Second wedding. Second wedding. This is it, right? And that's what that's the thing is that it, is that we are. It's uh, it's a look about it's about fashion yeah. more. It's and it's really about individuality and every single bride can really have her look on her wedding day. And we've we've shown you several of them. Yeah. So and we say go for it. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel good. For more information yeah. on these dresses, you can go to our website, GoodMorningAmerica.com, on Yahoo, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Randy. That was really fun. Thank you. Beautiful. Really welcome.